What's up dudes, Silhouette Soltis back again for another classic top 5 list. Today, I wanted to focus a bit less on the world of WoW Classic, with its zones, music, and dungeons, and take a closer look at something that I believe we all have an even more personal connection with, the classes of the game. Back in the day, all of us got held up on this question, what should we play? And while the classes, and we ourselves, have changed significantly over the years, I'm sure that some classes still stand out in our minds from back in the day. That being said, this list is purely my opinion, so don't take it personally if you share a different one. Instead, leave a comment telling about your favorite classes from Classic, and why you love them. I look forward to hearing your opinion. But anyway, let's get right into it. Here are my top five classes in classic World of Warcraft. Number five. Shaman. Now you might be wondering why, as someone who played exclusively Alliance back in the day, I have Shaman ranked in my top five. Well, the answer is simple. Frost Shock and Totems. I'll be the first to admit I never played a shaman back in the day, but I was always able to appreciate the crazy amount of utility that they brought to groups, as well as their ability to always kill me no matter what. In a later installment of my Memories of Vanilla series, I'm planning to tell the story of how I tried to gank a flagged shaman in Fellwood, only to have him turn around and mop the floor with me before teabagging my corpse. It was stupid just how much he could do, and it gave me a great respect for the Vanilla Shaman ever since. Sure, they might not be the strongest healers or DPS in the game, and Shaman tanking is kind of a meme at this point, but honestly, Shamans are a great class in Classic WoW. Number 4 Warrior Ah, the class that I hear so much about nowadays from everyone that plays or has knowledge of the private servers. The master class, as Tips Out puts it. In a way, he's not wrong. The warrior is an awesome class to play in vanilla. It was actually my first alt. And though I only got to around level 40 or so before the Burning Crusade launched, I thoroughly enjoyed every slow, painstakingly earned level. If you're seriously planning to tank, Roll one of these bad boys, and get ready for the long grind to 60. But also prepare to have some of the greatest experiences in class quests and feelings when you get a new weapon upgrade out of any class in the game, because you'll definitely feel the improvement as you go. Also, Mortal Strike is overpowered. Just saying. Number 3. Mage. If you ever played back in the day, you'll know that mages were THE staple DPS in the game from 2004 to 2006. I actually don't remember ever running a dungeon without one. Their damage is great, their CC is amazing, polymorph for the win, and most importantly, they bring water for your healer. There's literally nothing not to love about the mage. That being said, mages are definitely glass cannons, so if you plan on playing one, make sure you don't let things hit you too much. But with all the slows and snares they have available, that shouldn't happen too much anyway. Unless you're Terabad, that is. My first real mage was a Draenei that I leveled in 2007, so I missed out on playing a classic mage back in the day. But thanks to all the information I got from Leica about his mage, I knew a lot about them before actually ever playing one and I really hope to level one, at least casually, come classic. Number two. Warlock. My initial first pick for a class back in 2005, the Warlock is an amazingly useful class on all fronts. You've got crowd control in the form of seduce, banish, and fear, all of which are great tools for any dungeon group. Though arguably less effective than a mage's polymorph, they are still effective when used carefully and correctly. Furthermore, 
Warlocks provide excellent buffs and debuffs to dungeons and raids through their curses, demons, and the like. Curse of Shadows, Curse of Weakness, Blood Pact, Health Stones, and Soul Stones all had their places in groups back in the day. Plus, have you ever seen a tank go down in a dungeon only to have a Warlock's Voidwalker appear to taunt the mobs? I did, more times than I can remember actually, and it was definitely a different time back in the day because of this. Add into the mix how great this class was in PvP, the immense lore behind it, and the fact that you can play it as a gnome, and you've got a solid class for classic World of Warcraft. Unfortunately, since this is a top 5 list, I can't list all 9 classes here. So here are the 4 that I think deserve at least an honorable mention. And number one, Priest. Okay, I'm sure that I'll get some crap for loving this class, but honestly, there's no question in my mind. The Priest is my absolute all-time favorite class in World of Warcraft, and even more so in Classic WoW. First and foremost, the races you can pick are all unique and engaging with three choices on the Alliance side and two for the Horde. And each of these races gets unique racial spells that you've probably already heard of. Dwarves get Fear Ward and Desperate Prayer. Humans get Desperate Prayer and Feedback. Night Elves get Star Shards and Elune's Grace. Undead get Devouring Plague and Touch of Weakness. And finally, Trolls get Hex of Weakness and Shadow Guard. At this point, everyone knows that Dwarven Racials are the strongest and that most Horde Priests go undead for their strength in both PvP and PvE. But it's just so cool that there's such diversity even among one class. Anyway, Priests have a ton of other interesting and useful spells beyond their racial abilities too. Spells like Mana Burn, Mind Control, Mind Soothe, Inner Fire, and Power Word Shield, just to name a few. Each of these spells, while niche, have their own utility and can be useful, or at the very least fun, as you play the game. Finally, it is common knowledge that the Priest is the absolute best overall healer for the majority of classic WoW content, losing out only in terms of healing output to Paladins and only at the late endgame. Sure, Priests need to know how to downrank their spells, a skill that I never actually learned back in the day. But that only adds another element of immersion to the class, and really lets one explore the class fully. Plus, everyone really has to downrank for one reason or another, so it's hardly a priest-exclusive issue. For these reasons, as well as my own personal bias toward the class, I feel confident in putting Priest as my number one class in Classic World of Warcraft. I hope you enjoyed this top 5, but I'd like to know what you think too. What's your favorite class from Classic World of Warcraft? Did you play back in the day? Or are you looking forward to leveling one in the near future? It was a lot of fun for me to think about the different classes and what I enjoyed and didn't enjoy about each one, so I'd really like to hear your comments as well. If you liked this video, remember to subscribe as well as hit the like button. It really helps out the channel, and I appreciate every one of you. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates on when new content comes out, and check out my blog over on Blogspot. But for now, take it easy, guys.